together for Matt Condon. So I try to be a good uncle, but uh, I've been told I'm terrible at advice. <laughs> so my niece was getting bullied by another girl, and she asked me what she should do. So I said, punch that bitch in the throat. <laughs> Apparently, you're not supposed to say that to a five-year-old. So now I get to babysit while she's suspended. So I have, I have a niece and nephew, and uh, I try to do all the good uncle things, you know. Give them all the junk food they want. I make a mess and don't clean it up. I leave them in the car when I buy weed. I leave the radio on. I'm not a monster. No, so I, I get to do cool things with them. Uh, like this past summer, uh, I took my nephew to the county fair. And I go, I pick him up, I get him all buckled in. And he says, Uncle Matt, it's my first time in the front seat. He's like, really? You're three. Like, this should have happened already. You should only ride in the front seat. So we're driving along, and I'm trying to have a conversation with him, because maybe he's got some ideas about 2020. <laughs> you never know, he's not on social media. Maybe he's got an idea I haven't heard yet. So. so I'm trying to have a conversation with him, but he's into his iPad. Yes, his iPad. And he doesn't wear headphones, which is just inconsiderate. <laughs> like, he's selfish. All he cares about is himself and those douchey penguins from Madagascar. <laughs> who I now have to listen to because he has no social tact. I hate those penguins. <laughs> no, you know what? I hate all penguins. I don't know where they're marching, but I hope death is waiting for them. <laughs> yeah, Elephant Seals 2020. <laughs> They're just, they're just so smug and arrogant, always wearing those tuxedos, even though you specifically said business casual. Where's your polo shirt, Kowalski? I hate that I know his name. Penguins are just that combination of entitled but useless. They're riddled with herpes. They're so overdramatic about the environment. They're millennials. So we get to the fair. And he's doing that three-year-old thing, you know, where like he's running, but his feet are moving real fast, but every step is a high chance of disaster. He just looks like a white girl stumbling out of brunch, just... Uber for Becky? <laughs> so he stumbles his way into the cow barn, which, if you've never been to a cow barn, it smells like the last day of Woodstock. <laughs> Just nothing but shit, urine, and unshowered baby boomers. <laughs> Cows are basically baby boomers. <laughs> they scare easily. They shit on anything and everything. They're literally the reason we have an environmental problem. <laughs> they just stand there talking to each other. What's the big deal about climate change? Oh, it's gonna kill the penguins. <laughs> yeah, we'll be long dead before that's a problem. <laughs> so we're in the cow barn, and uh, he sees a cow and he points at a cow. And when I say he points, I don't mean he points at the head or the tail, no, he points right at the udder. He says, Uncle Matt, lunch. <laughs> and before I can do anything, he's just up there. Just... <laughs> Dude fell asleep. <laughs> so I posted it to Instagram. With the caption, screw farm to table, we're a tintalit family. <laughs> Hashtag MooToo. My name is Matt Condon, thank you guys, it's been great.